special day today. We are headed to the TaylorMade Kingdom in Carlsbad, California. Um, I haven't been for a while for a fitting. Gonna go through the whole bag. The new QI10 drivers have dropped. I've been playing them for a few weeks, but I have not been fitted for them yet. So I'm excited to get in here and try some, a few different things. Um, gonna take you through the experience as much as we can. It's a very rainy day here in Carlsbad, California. So I'm probably gonna have to hit indoors, which could affect how much I can do and how much I can get done. But um, either way, I'm sure it'll be insightful and I'm looking forward to it because I need it, that's for sure. So we'll see you guys in there. Uh, just a little sneak peek into a fitting. I haven't been here in a bit over a year. Uh, the new golf balls just come out as well as just go through the bag and make sure everything's up to standard. I've got this shaft at the moment. Fujikura Pro, uh, 75 gram, and I've used this since I was like 16, and they no longer make it. They haven't made it for like five years. I'm down to my last two. So if those snap, I'm stuck. So one of my big goals is a new shot for the driver kind of one. There's few different ones that are similar in the flex points. Yeah. Um, they just may vary a little bit of, this is gonna be played a little bit heavier. Yes. But very similar uh, flex in the butt and the tip. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another one is the new uh, BF with uh, what Tiger plays in the 70X. The new TP5X. Apparently, it's a little softer than the old TP5X. The one before was quite, I think if you asked two of players, probably a little too firm. There's a probably split between 5X and 5. But I think in this ball, we'll be more people using the 5X. I know Rory's already using the 5X, yeah. I believe. And most importantly, the pontoon, nine hole. Is using the 5x, so it goes like immediately three miles an hour faster. Yeah, how's the game? How have you been playing? Yeah, I've been playing all right, man. Yeah, no complaints. I haven't played in a tournament the last kind of six weeks, so I'm going to be going over to Europe, I think, kind of the end of the spring to kind of play some challenge tour stuff. Nice. So for now, yeah, it's pretty not a lot of events going on, other than I'll probably play some Mondays and things like that over yeah. here until I go over there. Um, so it's hard to tell when you're not playing tournaments. <laughs> I did this last year, I was playing Shriners in Vegas, I think, as with Adrian. Yeah. And I just kind of liked the eight lofted up because it felt a little bit more closed. So I had to fade the driver for like to start the ball left. Yeah. And I was never going to like overcut or start right. Exactly. That was the only reason that we did it. Yeah. But I've never played like eight degrees of loft on the head. Yeah. Yeah. Even sometimes, like I've probably always played a driver that's spinnier because I have a fair bit of speed. So even 28 out of the heel, I'm never too upset because it keeps it quite straight. Well, exactly. That's yeah. that's that's when you have control over it. Yeah. It, to be honest, it's a bit heavier. So maybe the head feels lighter yeah. because of that. Yeah. Something about it feels lighter, but I like the way it feels. Like it's not kicking weird or anything yeah. like that. Like it's doing what I expect. Yeah. So that that's why. I kind of like this. That's very similar. What you playing? It's yeah. just a, a touch heavier. Uh, I like because the, always the problem that I have with shots that I don't like is I take the kick in the wrong spot or something, and yeah. then I lose the face because of that. Yeah. This feels like it's stable, so I'm not losing yeah. the face anyway. Feels like like the vented shafts. They they're so opposite end of yeah. like it's the black is so so firm, and then yeah. the, the blue is like soft and really firm, and yeah. then. Um, so there's so many sections of it. Yeah. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more throughout. Yeah. Uh, Which is a oh. yeah. Yeah, I quite like. I've never hit this before, but. Yeah. Like that, it's it just it's a bit tighter, right? Yeah. It's not a, not, not no a lot of yeah. yeah. On any of them. Yeah. How was the spin on that one? Because I felt like that was pretty decently hit. That was 1600. Yeah, I was going to say, dipped a little. Yeah. Was there a difference in performance in those two heads, really? Or no? Did that spin? It looked like it spun a little more. Yeah. That, this is, that right there, Yeah. that was 
81 ball speed, 2300 RPMs, function at 12. Yeah, that's probably what we yeah. want. Right there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly where we want to be. Because this is a touch more more upright in the sense of what this is with the sleeve difference. Mm -hmm. uh, you just have to build it like I would, I would want to see uh, not as upright as this one. Yeah. So, uh, it does feel, yeah, I can yeah. feel that a little bit. Yeah. So I just have to build it with a different sleeve on it. Yeah, okay. Wow. That felt like a much worse swing than that, you know? Which is good. That one's a bit more pear shaped. This is a bit more like half moon shaped. Yeah. Yeah. Which I don't mind. I've never used a head kind of like this. I've always used that style head a bit more, but I don't mind it. They normally look a bit funny to me, but this one looks pretty good. Yeah. Square, but without being too like squared on leading edge either. Yeah. If you want to put it on the shaft, yeah, and fun. then this is kind of like a backup you can start oh, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll play around with it. Exactly. Like, but like when you put it in a you know, uh, pressure situation, yeah, we'll see. You'll, yeah. you'll see what you see yeah. at home and you know what, what it feels like. Do you mind sending me a backup of that shaft too? Yeah. Like yeah. send the one in the head and then a backup maybe as well? Yeah. In case I do decide to use that, I don't have to like chase you up for it. It's always like to travel with a backup. Oh yeah, for sure. So, I mean, that's that's easy. So you've gone with a different head shape. Different head. Uh, I went with the this one. I think it's called. They're calling it the Core, and I've been using the LS. Right. Slightly more spin. I was just underspinning this a lot. And yeah, it's visually know, a little different as well. You probably can't. I don't know if you can see from up top. These are obviously demo heads. Yeah. This is slightly like. There's just a bit more on the back end here, and this is a little bit more pear shaped. This is more what I've traditionally used. Gotcha. This is what I guess I'm gonna go to. And we're changing shafts too. Could be my first shaft change in, since I was probably 16 years old. So rest in peace, Fujikura. <laughs> it's been a ride, my brother. Shout out to the Fujikura. Shout out to Fuji, shout out to Japan. Are you anti-hybrid? Oh my auntie, this hybrid, 35 degrees of loft. That's a seven iron. <laughs> Holy Moses, mate. Imagine hitting that thing into the wind. Oh, I reckon that's got more than my lobby on it. Look at that. I'm hitting one. I'm to throw those driving numbers off. I feel like I can hit the roof. <laughs> Dude, that came out so high immediately. Just put it Dead straight though. That's unbelievable. Could you just go a bag of hybrids? Can they make me a pitching wedge hybrid? Would that be epic? If you had the chipping yips, you just use this, mate. Just the hybrid. Just, straight up through your nostrils. Unbelievable. And then wedges, I mean, I have every spec of this 60 degree that they could possibly make, so find one of those and then yeah just fresh wedges so the new drive and new golf ball is probably the two biggest interesting things for me um this new ball i've heard is really good I haven't tested on course i'll get some today and um we'll play around with that and the driver seems like i found something good there um other than that it's just me i just got to get her out get her out in front of me a bit more and won't matter what we use <laughs> I sometimes feel like they're pretty heavy. Um, I'll take a look at it. Yeah, and I don't know versus like standard if it is a little bit heavier. But sometimes I just feel like a little bit lighter wedge would be nice just on shorter shots around the green. Um, okay. Sometimes feel like, I don't know, the club that almost gets falls behind me a little bit too much. Or yeah. Like, yeah, as opposed to kind of it was a bit lighter, I could get it back yeah. kind of in front of me a little bit easier. Heavy on a swing weight? Yeah. Uh, no, well, not necessarily heavy, but. They are heavier than what these two. Yeah, the same amount. Yeah. yeah. So this one. Is that normal for the lob wedge to be heavier? Heavy, yeah. Yeah. Heavy. So it's like you're pretty standard in the yeah. in the weight. Yeah. But what is standard? Yeah. Give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. True. If if you like, um, I mean, this is at at D four. Uh, this is at D five, and this is D five and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually, people like lob wedges to be heavier. A little bit more on a swing weight. And what's the reason for that? Is there any reason? Just slower swings. You know where the head is yeah. at the time, but for for them. But yeah, 
everyone's different, right? I, yeah. I can't. If I feel well, like the feel of it, if you feel like it's dragging behind you, mm -hmm. there's no problem making it D4. Do and you mind making a set just the way they are, or make this D5 instead of D5 and a half? So like make these both D5, these D4, and then maybe just one low bounce one, just experiment with that's yeah. like light. Yeah. Just see if I like it. I don't know. Because I won't be able to know until I kind of have one in hand that's lighter. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how light would you consider making a lob wedge? Like if I say I would. I, I, I mean, I, would, I would, wouldn't change much. No, so it would be lower than D4. Or, yeah. yeah. Like I would, that's where I would keep it at. Yeah. D4. Or if you like where your 56 and 52 are in the feel wise, because that, that's a big dip, yeah. you know, big difference. It's only two grams, yeah. but you're going to feel yeah, that. Yeah, you can feel that, yeah. Um, so maybe just, yeah, if possible, just match those, kind of, yeah. and then one lob wedge that's just a bit lighter, and I'll just play around with it, see if I like yeah. it any better. Because I doubt you have anything here to test out that's... Good. So basically here we have like the four variations of 60 degree that I might play around with. So this is my high bounce gamer that I use currently. So you can see it's kind of pretty basic sole, 10 degrees of bounce. This is my low bounce gamer, still a very wide sole, but only eight degrees of bounce. And you can obviously see the different characteristics here. There's a new one that I might try. So the TW, which is a very wide sole, very, very wide sole, but it's just, it's actually almost identical to this one over here, but this has the bezel on the front. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but just helps you get under the ball. Then this one is the most unique. This is seven, but it has a very shallow um, bounce kind of profile. So it should go in and out of the turf pretty pretty uh, quickly. And that's gonna be interesting to play around with. That's good for Australia. That'll be good for maybe the tightness in Florida. Definitely, obviously, my gamers are my gamers, but these are gonna be two that I'm gonna play around with. Obviously, as golfers, we play on Bermuda, we play on Bent, we play on all these different surfaces. So you gotta have options, and those are kind of the options that I'll have. So this should dig a bit more, but should be in and out of the turf pretty quick, according to them. Uh, looks good off this grass. Anything sort of feel immediately feel different? Great, actually. But this turf is like the most forgiving turf that you could ever play on. I felt like I could release it more. Yeah. And it wasn't gonna go left as much. Well, I feel like I've... You, you would always have to like hang onto it a bit. Yeah, yeah. like almost in a sense of steering at a hold, hold in. Yeah. Yeah. Is there something that could like cause it just to become more upright just over time? Ev everything, yeah. Literally everything, yeah. It's just confidence when you're trying to, trying to attack. Because yeah, I've definitely like from a swing pattern point of view, the last couple months especially, felt like I've had to hang onto it more than I do, than I like to. Because athletes see where the face is pointed. If yeah. it's upright, it's going to point left. Yeah. And for professional golfers, long left is up here. Yeah. Dead. That's a that's yeah. that's a double bump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Especially, I mean, if you got a 52 in your hand. Like, yeah. And that's yeah. You can't. And if you if you're trying to do something that you can't be comfortable with it. Yeah. What's that carry for you? Uh, when it's 75 degrees, it should carry just under 190. Got it. So probably, I don't know right now, probably 80 or something? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's it's at 80, 84. Yeah, okay. So that's why I was... Yeah, which wondering. is pretty good even, like... Right now, yeah. Yeah. Considering yeah. I'm not playing and it's a little cold and wet, I think it's yeah. pretty good. Every, yeah. All done for the day. So, tricky day because we had to hit off mat, so it was hard to test kind of lie angles of irons, but towards the end there, we got out on the grass, which is good.
So the biggest changes that I'm gonna make to my bag, so it looks like I'm gonna go with that QI10, the core driver, which is kind of the middle of the three options. I'm gonna go from an eight degree head to a nine degree head, but I'm gonna have mine set at 9.5. Just gonna give me a little bit more launch, gives me a little bit more spin. And then the biggest change I think I will be moving out of this Fuji Kura shaft that I've used for most of my career, or all of my career to this point, um, because I don't make it anymore. It looks like I'll be moving into an Acra shaft. I'll have to get the exact specifications for you, but that kind of matched up on their computers is the most similar in profile to the current shaft that I'm using. So in terms of that, that's probably the biggest change of the day. Three woods, nothing's gonna change. Had to adjust a few lie angles in the irons to get a little bit flatter. Everything had gone a bit more upright. And then in the wedges is gonna be interesting as well. I'm gonna play around with the TW, um, grind, I'm gonna play around with that new V grind, I'm gonna play around with my current grinds, and I'm just gonna spend quite a bit of time on different grasses, different uh, conditions to see which one of those suits best. And I'll probably travel with two or three of them, uh, depending on where I play, but that's gonna be another change for me. Other than that, um, the wedges, we went much flatter, just gives me a chance to release them a little bit harder and not feel like I'm gonna miss the ball left, which is not what we like to do, especially with wedges. And then uh, it looks like I'll move into that new TP5X golf ball. So overall, not a ton of changes, but a few significant ones. And yeah, I plan on those working out a little bit better in 2024 than they did in 2023. So I will, like I said, I'll do a little what's in the bag and um, show you guys what I've got for 2024.